Hello friends, this video illustrates types of bird's feet. All pics and models are by me, Rohan Arora. There are different kinds of feet throughout the avian world. They serve a variety of functions and tell a lot about birds' ecology, the lifestyles and their behavior. Every type of feet has its own advantage. Have you ever wondered why we do not see the birds falling out of trees when they sleep on a branch? Have you noticed how some birds can walk on floating aquatic vegetation? Why some birds can swim well, others can run fast, some of the birds can cling to tree trunks and some have highly separated toes with sharp nails. Let us find answer to all these questions. Before we go in the details, we must know birds are classified as digit grade animals, meaning they walk on their toes rather than their entire foot. The bird's toes are called digits. Most birds have four digits. This animation shows the basic structure of the bird's foot which has normally four digits or toes. These digits are arranged in a few different ways. Let us understand more about these arrangements found in various Indian bird species. Anisodectile. This is the most common arrangement. Three toes in the front marked as 2, 3, 4 and one at the back marked as 1. It is the most flexible as all four digits are independent. The independent, extremely flexible toes of passerines along with the completely opposed first toe are ideal for grasping branches. Anisodectile arrangement is found in most perching birds like sparrows, robins and rollers. Zygodectile. This is the second most common arrangement. The outermost fourth digit is reversed. Two toes in the front marked as two and three and two at the back marked as one and four. Woodpeckers can rotate the fourth digit to the side while owls can rotate the fourth digit back and forth. The opposing toes of woodpeckers aid in clinging to the tree trunks. Examples of zygodectile arrangement are woodpeckers, cuckoos, owls and parakeets. Palmate is type of webbed feet. In this arrangement, digits 2, 3 and 4 are connected by webbings and digit 1 is backwards. This type of arrangement is found in ducks, geese, flamingos, gulls, terns and other aquatic birds. Semipalmate is another type of webbed feet. There is a small web between the forward digits marked as 2, 3 and 4. The herons have the web between only two toes. Plovers and lapwings have a vestigial hind toe marked as one, meaning the hind toe is often greatly reduced and raised and thus loses the contact with the ground. Examples of semi-palmate arrangements are herons, plovers, lapwings, sandpipers and avocets. Another type of web feet is totipalmate. In this arrangement, all four digits are joined by webbings. Examples are pelicans, cormorants and darters. Lobit is yet another type of webbed feet in which the forward digits marked as 2, 3 and 4 are edged with lobes of skin. The lobes expand or contract when a bird swims. Examples are coots and grapes. 
the raptorial arrangement is found in raptors in which all the four toes are highly separated. The toes are called talons. They are curved with sharp nails, strong and large. This helps them to easily grasp prey. Shikras, kites, eagles and vultures have raptorial arrangement. Syndactyl is a foot arrangement in which three toes marked as two, three and four are in the front and one is at the back. The digits two and three are joined for much of their length. They are fused in kingfisher which helps them in digging nest tunnels. Syndactyl arrangement is found in kingfishers and hornbills. Tridactyl. This foot arrangement has only three digits, meaning digit one is missing. This type of foot arrangement is found in sanderlings, bustards, and some quails. In heterodactyl foot arrangement, the inner front toe marked as two is reversed. So, the digits 3 and 4 point upwards while digits 2 and 1 point downwards. Heterodactyl foot arrangement is found only in trogons. Pamprodactyl. In this foot arrangement, the two outer digits marked as 1 and 4 can rotate freely forward and backward. Some swifts move all four digits forward to use them hook to hang. Examples are some swifts. This slide explains few other distinctive toes like in Jakana which has very long and fine toes. Also grey-headed swamp hen and other rail birds have toes similar to Jakana but the feet are slightly shorter.